What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Phil Senior Games Character Spotlight with Mike and Brock. I'm Mike. I'm Brock. We're joined with by uh, Jeff Manning, whoever that is. What's and, going on, guys? <laughs> and a special first-time guest, Jared the Faction. How's it going? Jared? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me, guys. Long-time listener, first-time guest. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we'll try not to disappoint. But, but but the disappointment could could very well happen. <laughs> That's what we'll editing we'll is for. <laughs> editing. <laughs> Have you watched this show, Jeff? <laughs> hey, we pay the top editors in the business. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> We're gonna continue going through Mega Tournament twenty one oh one with Wraith and Vertigo. Members of the uh Genesis team. Yeah. Superpowers. Yeah, we can uh, we can start off with uh, with Vertigo, since uh, since our guest has a, a a special thing he'll reveal later on about his card. Ooh. Later on. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could lead off on that one. It's just yeah. I was taking a guess. That's who you're covering. So I just I dug out my old collection. Like I don't think I've looked at this card since the '90s, and eh, maybe early aughts. And I dug out my Vertigo, and I realized I played with Vertigo back in the day. Before I laminate on my cards, oh my gosh, he laminates his cards. But uh, I've written in pencil over his death jump, his pen, because in later editions he gets a downgrade, but not a new card. So it's interesting that I was like not sacred to that kind of stuff. And then I said, you know what? I should laminate my cards for posterity. So it's kind of this weird duality going on here where I don't care, but then, you know what? I should probably laminate this. So it's just a blast from the past. It's just the things you forget about. It's like, I did that 35 years ago, probably. <laughs> or 25 years ago. It's just crazy. I think you were right the first time, 35 years ago for 90s. Yeah, I mean, by the time it gets downgraded, though, it's probably 2001, because the card yeah. is 95, well, late 90s, yeah, somewhere in there. I can't remember the year he technically gets a downgrade, but, uh, but we're going to talk about 2101, not some far off future, but yes, one half of Genesis Prime, that was their t- team name, right? Yes, that's yes. correct. Yeah, he's, uh, I remember him not being very good, but looking at his card... <laughs> I don't know if you want to do a rundown there, Brock, as you like to do. Yeah, um, we've got three straight level three moves going through on level two. A double finisher. They're both zero, but still a double finisher. Um, He's got three comebacks on level two defense, four on level one offense. Uh, Two downs, both protected by one a tag and one a leave. But he's got a high pin of seven four. So I think that's probably what hurt him most. But not as it wasn't as rare to see a hype impact then as we nowadays. Yeah. No. So he fit in well. Yeah, his, his his card wasn't overly bad. It was actually pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, it just my in my memory, he they were just not a good team. Solid, but looking at his cards, like no, he's got a lot of outs. His defense is really strong. He's got a really strong level two, and just he'll wear you down that level three. So, wow, yeah, he's. I wouldn't place that. It's maybe his agility powers what's really caused issues, but uh, yeah, yeah you think I mean the guy's supposed to have superhuman awesome. speed. He should probably have <laughs> something better than a zero agility. <laughs> Just, you know, I find it odd that he had super speed. He was actually older than both Max Shield and Wraith when he was introduced, mm-hmm. according to the handbook. Yeah. Would you like so, to read that for us, Jeff? Yeah, I can do a recap on it. It's, we're going out of order because Wraith was first in the book. So Uh-oh. Um, you might miss a little tidbit. We'll have to go back to that. We're going to, what they call it, Tarantino it or something. Start with the bottom and go back to the beginning and see how we got there. But uh, Vertigo joins Wraith as the new Genesis team members in 2101. Vertigo is older than both Max Shield and Wraith and has unofficially become their leader. I never viewed him as the leader either. I don't oh. know if you guys did, but not really. Uh, Mandrill has scoffed as Vertigo for attempting to wrestle as he approaches middle age, even though Vertigo was a wrestler on Omicron, Omicron, but Vertigo doesn't care. The Omicron event increased Vertigo's speed so that he is always a threat in the ring. Imagine rapid punches and swift kicks 
where Lightning was very fast and agile. Vertigo is super fast, but not exceptionally agile. <laughs> Max Shield and Wraith are better technical wrestlers than Vertigo, who simply tries to use speed as his greatest advantage. So basically, the a, spe- a specialist, tag specialist, past his athletic prime. Nonetheless, he thinks he has a few good years left still in him and hopes to win a tag belt with his friend Wraith. More important, Vertigo aims to pay back Mandrill, Painmaster, and Toxin for the suffering they've caused on Omicron. So there's the recap. Yeah, it makes sense, right? But when the Omicron event happened, not everyone was 25. When it right. Happened. Some people were 40. No. I just, his artwork, I never saw the or, older team member. I guess once I read the book, I just put it out of my mind and go by the artwork <laughs> mainly. Well, the, yeah, because the artwork makes him look like he's 16. Yeah, he looks like Quicksilver. Yeah, he looks super um, young. Yeah, yeah you definitely I never get took him as the, I never took him as the older or the leader. I no. just didn't. It never registered with me after reading the book. No. It doesn't even look like he can grow a beard. <laughs> you mean to tell me your facial hair grows in all white trashy like that just natural <laughs> what was the quote you had there Jeff he's, he's quick but not agile I guess yeah, what that it's, translates it's, to it's, since you're not super fast or super slow you're a zero if you're quick vertigo- but not agile <laughs> vertigo is super fast but not exceptionally agile is what it states so we so learned the speed and agility work. they don't go yeah. hand in hand apparently <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. I mean, if you look at it, even like the NFL combine, you might be able to run a fast 40, but that doesn't mean you're good at the cone drill. Agility is kind of like True. the side-to-side action. I always told people, I played a lot of sports growing up, I was never fast. When we ran, I was going to be one, towards the back of the pack. But side-to-side in sports like tennis or things that like basketball where you have to shift speeds a lot from side-to-side, I was better at. I just wasn't going to catch you in a race. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I kind of relate to that as being – I was the opposite. I was agile, not fast, but he's fast and not agile. So would you call yourself a minus four agility then? <laughs> I didn't call myself <laughs> anything. I would have to uh, get hulked up quite a bit. <laughs> well, wouldn't they call it like fast feet, like uh, quick feet maneuverability, but not really land speed yeah. fast? Yeah, I'm not getting away quick from him. I might be able to dodge. <laughs> I'm better at dodgeball than I am. <laughs> Makes sense. Did, did they hold any titles for you guys that you remember? Well, you know, I'm still playing that era, and I don't, I don't, they haven't had a title yet. They haven't even got a title shot yet. You so know, my, GW, tell you that, my GWF, like I'm, like, I'm still in there. For, for me, they're two time Intergalaxian champions right now. So and you have, have to explain what your Ender Galaxian champion is because you know we have like 18 titles for you. Which well, fed? <laughs> Which level? <laughs> throughout multiple feds. <laughs> but Ender Galaxian would be equal to the U.S. tag titles for all you yeah. wrestling fans. <laughs> yeah, I had them as because they went from 2101 to 105. I had them as 11 and 25 with three DQ wins and three DQ losses. So they ended with a record of 33% when see no titles. I like the stats. Look at that. We got Brock losing them in the shuffle, and you got Jared coming through with the yeah. stats. Hey, 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 Jared, could you share those stats with me? <laughs> Let's pretend they're... So 11 and 25, and they were there for, what, four years as a team? Is that what you're saying? There are five active years. One okay, through so that, five. So they had about six matches a year, about every other month? I typically do... Typically, I, I would run 10 to 12 matches a year per team is what I usually get, typically. Yeah, I mean, but, with tag, tag teams, I think I'm about the same. Uh, some of them get a couple extra a month, like they might get two in a month instead of one. Um, oh. But I kind of randomize my matches. So it, it just kind of – I view that as like a, a stroke system. Some guys get a couple extra here and there. <laughs> It's it's unfortunate because these stats are slightly skewed because I ran a mega tournament. It's the only time I've done it in my entire Fed history. I've run a Fed from eighty seven to I am current. Twenty one hundred one and one hundred two are the only times because I did wanted to get caught up. I did a mega tournament, a true like round robin, put teams into groups of four. You play a ring in your group, and then if you won that group, you moved on to the next one. Hmm. So for O one and O two, they probably only had like eight matches or seven matches, and there's. In their division, 
Now, are you a fan of the Canada Cup? Have you ever been a part of that? <laughs> I have been a part of it. There you go. The best did not cup get out in the of my galaxy. First <laughs> did not get out of my first bracket. <laughs> but yeah, I have in 2101, Genesis Prime went two and seven in their bracket and one DQ. So they actually had nine matches, you know, or um, no, 10 matches in the first year. They were literally the worst team in the year. <laughs> I do a, a matches and I also do a point scale. I have a formula based on how many wins, losses, DQs, and titles that affects you. Essentially, it's how you get in the Hall of Fame, wherever your point system is by the end of your career. Mm -hmm. They finished the year at negative 11 points. <laughs> the next worst team was negative 10 points, was Abomination. Wow. I have a point system as well for my Hall of Fame, but I don't include like every match. It comes down to just title reigns and stuff for the most part. I, I, yeah, I have a Hall of Fame voting, and it goes by every title is, is a certain amount of points, and then it go it takes your wins into consideration, and if you've headlined any super cards like that, and you have to get yeah. you have to get so many points. Place yeah, not card like how you're perceived, not just your record. Yeah, mine isn't uh, so many points. I do a singles competitor every year, and then a tag team every other year, and uh, the only extras besides championship wins and reigns um, are the special events I have, like the Regal Rumble and my Ring Warrior Tournament, which is my version of the King of the Ring. So that's about all that plays into it. I have something some King of the Cosmos, and once you win it, you can never enter the tournament again. Um, so it's like, it's a, did you get that ring, essentially, once in your career? Uh, but uh, And then, yeah, I'd say points for title wins and then defenses. It'd be a little less. It's kind of like an F1 scale where the higher you are up in the scale, you get more points as Q. So like six points for a galactic title, four to defend it, four to win an IP and a planetary two to defend it, kind of a thing. Well, I like that. Well, you got Forrest Brock on Genesis Prime, or did you lose them in your shuffle? Well, mm -hmm. there's the, the shuffle didn't even <laughs> pick these guys up. <laughs> Those guys didn't even make the deck. No, I, I, it's not fully this time. It's not Brock's fault completely because Wraith is invisible. I mean, he is. I lost. <laughs> I can understand that. I didn't Vertigo even know he was just there. too fast to see. Yeah, I didn't even know he was there. If Wraith is invisible, how do you make sure he's holding the turnbuckle rope, like the tag rope? The tag rope. Yeah, he can get away with all kinds of stuff. He must work for AEW. <laughs> Gosh, wait, aren't you the one that usually wears a Young Buck shirt? Come on now. I, I need to get. I need to find a Young Buck shirt. I need cheap Pete. <laughs> you live in you're you're a Pittsburgh guy. You get all the cheap heat that way. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want to talk about Wraith too? Or well, we we gotta we gotta uh, do the yeah. uh, power. Oh, creep. you got it. You got a power creep. I don't ever power creep. I'm, not, I'm that's my worst section. I don't have the card right in front of me. I gotta bring it up on online. I'll start. I'm gonna. Uh... Uh, make his agility rating a minus two. That's a good idea, just because then he truly becomes a zero, right? He evens out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I really like that pin, but I think that's obvious. So I would remove the down on her, too. There you go. That's going to get hit a lot. That's going to kill him a lot in the tag scene. Mm hmm. Uh, what's his level one move on level three? A uh, high velocity slingshot. It's a power. He's never power gonna check. hit it. Very rarely hit it. Got a plus two. That's doable. Wait, and... you said level one move on level three? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, his his first move on level three. Oh, that's oh small, he's got package. A small package. Yeah. Without a pin yeah. attempt. Well, small package, no pin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. It will never even take a pen check because that's a level two move. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so not even a chance you might roll a pen. That's <laughs> it's another one of those moves where Tom was like, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> it's like one guy had a vertical press. I'm like, Tom, that's a pin. <laughs> lateral press. You had lateral press. Lateral press. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's a pin. But yeah, I'd make that a down. Or at least Small a package package three. because it's a it's a pin, <laughs> right? Small package yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it fits. If he, uh, I guess, if he's fast, he can roll him up quick. But he's not agile. Yeah. I think. I think yeah. Small package would be more an agile move, wouldn't it? Small package add one. 
<laughs> add <laughs> one. <laughs> there should always be an add one. There should be a pen attempt. Uh, that makes sense. I like that. It's, it's just that uh, he has such a good offense. If you get back up to level two on him, he has a 50 50 to put you back down on level three. It's true. So it's like, and really, but yeah, that level that two move on level three does is a killer, not killer, his, but it it's amazing how often it comes up. Yeah, his defense <laughs> looks good too. I mean, he's got four reverses on level one and three on level two. He's, he's one of these guys you look at and go, Why didn't he do better? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might have uh, did get in, in singles if people use him in singles as well. He could capture a TV title or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Just now getting ideas. Yeah, I might. Break, break him up, Jeff. Uh, I'm not getting an idea of a TV title. You know that I'm not the title <laughs> guy. I've got two <laughs> singles titles and one tag. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't have 18 titles for him to win. But no, I, I, you guys got all the good power creeps. I don't know what else I would do. I mean, if I could just drop the power from that level one you move and goes to level three. That works. And it goes straight through. We're making a I choice. Pick the pin. We're all happy with the floor. <laughs> For that That's time so... period, I don't completely hate it. I mean, yeah. it's not preferred, but if his offense is strong enough, you may not have to worry about it. He's got, he's got a lot of outs. I mean, yeah, seven of them. It's gonna get. It's he looks hard to get down to down his down. That's why I, I, I like that getting rid of that down on two. So if he didn't have that, he'd be. He's hard to get to three. Mm -hmm. that is true but we can we can flip over to race the no, Stevie I, Ray Booker T crossover character I, I, I feel bad for this because we had another guest on a long time ago named uh, Todd uh, Wachowski and uh, he really wanted to be on for race <laughs> his, his wife just had a baby so Congrats. he couldn't make it yeah congratulations yeah. <laughs> and so that's how that's how Jared got in here. We're like, hey, we you know we we had a guest lined up. And like, oh well, you don't tell the guest he was the backup. I, I told him. <laughs> well, he led led with that. It's not a. Yeah. He's a bad host. <laughs> I thought Canadians were polite. He was being honest. I, I understand where he's coming from. So so yeah, Todd, congratulations on 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 the uh, on the new kid. It's always exciting. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, yep. It's always there's always another raid that you can show up for. <laughs> yep. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I know what that's like to have a baby in the house. So <laughs> Jeff, never, Jeff's on like kid eight. So never he... been there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hi, I'm done. I've been done for a handful of years now. So we're good on that. I said that too. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite. Mike says, hey, can you be on the show? It's like, yeah, I got nothing to do. I, <laughs> I, I can I can hunt on Raw. I'll, I'll watch it later. Good times. It's King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring tournament. It qualifying matches tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I know you guys are up on the current product. It's true. <laughs> Absolutely. I am. But I don't think yeah. Mike is. And I, Brock sometimes. I'm up to date. Yeah, there you I go. watched Backlash France. I have been watching. Uh, <laughs> if you have Roku, the Roku channel, they have a Roku exclusive WWE Next Gen. It's they're uh, everywhere. <laughs> kind of like a tough enough kind of thing where they signed yeah. certain college athletes to contracts, like did a tryout and then signed a handful of them, and they're training them. You actually get to see two of their debuts. So nice little show. Okay, well, I'll segue us back to race. <laughs> Is that what we're talking about? I really thought his artwork looked kind of cool in the when I got the handbook. You gotta remember, I wasn't current, so I, I, the handbook was essential to me learning these characters before ever playing with them. The uh, you know the GWF file. Sorry, I'm calling it the handbook. It was the Grail, the guide that <laughs> I had to have. And I thought the artwork was pretty cool, but I didn't understand the whole bottom of him when I was until I read about him. You know what I mean? The particles kind of. Coming off of him. Yeah. I always wondered how that mechanic was going to work until I started playing with him. So that, That's what almost makes me feel bad about Vertigo because he doesn't have any, any – he's the only one of the group that doesn't have a special ability. 
Yeah, to be super fast, there should have been something incorporated. Yeah. Maybe we like talking about this. He was super fast. He just wasn't agile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was his drawback. <laughs> like when you guys play Raid, you can use his he can use his power on defense or offense. I use it, I'd say, 90% of the time on offense to get that plus three finish. Yeah, I always save it for offense. Until he hit level three and it looked bad, I would go, oh, I have to. That would be the only time you pull that flag on him for defense. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he's he's rolling level two or one, just go with it. Like, because you never know. But if, it, if he's rolling down on three, I think that's when I'd throw the flag out. But again, this was a while ago. But yeah, I'd say it's. You save it up for that finisher. Yeah. No, he did capture my NGA heavyweight championship. Wow. And that 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 is tier number two. Okay. Tier two. <laughs> I always have to ask. One of these days I'm gonna come like that crazy it's always sunny meme where he's got the <laughs> string things on the board and I'll be like, Okay, so when Mike's talking, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have it all down eventually, I promise. Give me like ten uh, more episodes. That's right. So he his his card is actually pretty solid as well, but it's that plus three finish that can really get you the win. Mm-hmm. So that title is based on purely this card, not his like, because he's had several cards. So you're you're basing that on just this card? Yeah, yep. just okay. that card. Yeah. I'm on twenty one oh five. Okay. All right. Yeah. So then get yeah, a new you... official card of twenty one oh nine. But uh, right. yeah, I can I can tell you things I can't tell you how well he did with this card unless going year by year and I went to the single stats. But I know it by the end because he was around for 15 years. For me, he went 26 and 41, 12 and 11. That's the DQ's count up. Three Hollowvision titles, and that's it. Never a single defense. He'd win it three. He'd win it three times and lost it three times. <laughs> <laughs> he reaches the peak and then he falls immediately down. No, Hollow Vision is that was my TV title. Yeah, yeah. I, I I figured that, but he 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 wins a title and losing his first defense every time. Yep, yep. He's a transitional guy. That was they Sasha rewarded, Banks for a while. They reward yeah, him with titles just to get him some more notoriety because he's a long time guy, and then he drops it back to the next person. He was a good hand. Be getting ahead, ahead of because he would have never gone for that title with this card. This is his tag team card essentially, so he would have never gone for that title until later. So in this era, he was that Genesis Prime, thirty-three percent tie winning <laughs> team. Looking at his raw ratings, this is supposed to be his best card. I had better luck with his third iteration, where he was always invisible, always clear. The clear card where they didn't draw like three add ones on that card. <laughs> the John awesome. Cena card. The John Cena card. <laughs> yeah. Twenty twelve. Yeah. Twenty one twelve. Sorry. Not 2012. We've already passed that. Yeah. We didn't get <laughs> In a real life. Card for that. But uh, yeah, for this one, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if we want to run it down because he's, again, I don't get it. He seems, ah, uh, it's that two on level three. Yeah. I think that is a killer. It's got to be. You got to put a choice with it that can give you a chance at a three, I think. Yeah. Well, that's that next move. That's what's going to be the killer, right? He's got a two and then a chance on the level two move. Mm-hmm. Second. So he's he gets down to level three and it's just it's a gamble. The automatic out of the ring, he's gonna get DQ'd a lot. He's got an A rating though, so he should hold his own pretty well. Yeah, but yeah. Well, yeah. why he would get DQ'd a lot, you'd think the ref wouldn't see what he's up to. That's true. He should he should use that um invisibility. invisibility. <laughs> why is that chair floating toward that guy's head? <laughs> <laughs> he could just float the chair to the other guy and make them hold it and then they'd be I like, didn't Oh, see they a hit thing. <laughs> I didn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for me, he he was the leader out of the group, not Vertigo. Well, you'd be wrong according to the book. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I would have been too. I would have had Max Shield as the leader. Well, no, I would definitely Ma- had Max, Max Shield. Shield was, but I had Max Shield lead the group after uh, after the third year. Uh, there's just yeah, something I mean, weird about half of a tag team being leader that doesn't sit with me usually. Like I feel like it's because be he was singles. old. Just because he, he wasn't, wasn't agile, though. he was Torin before Torin was there. He aged in reverse apparently. <laughs> he looks super young. He's Benjamin Button. Yeah. Yeah. 
But yeah, I, I had Max as well. Just I, I had that same sentiment. He was in there first. He was the one always feuding with Mandrill. Um, he was that lead guy. He was always going after the top guy in the team and just because he was the singles leader, mm -hmm. and even in six mans. Apparently, Wraith was the jokester. Imagine According the fun pranks you could pull when you were invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. Uh... You want to read his recap real quick? Yeah. All right. Here comes the rest of Genesis. Wraith, <laughs> Vertigo, and Max Shield are all freedom fighters of Omicron. All three work closely together to try and overthrow the corrupt dictatorship of Mandrill and his watchmen of Scorpy. As a result of the mysterious Omicron event, Wraith gained his ability to turn invisible at will. Commissioner Grogan, however, has ruled that Wraith's ability gives him an unfair advantage and has limited Wraith to three attempts at turning invisible per match. Any further attempts would result in an automatic disqualification. How can anyone tell when Wraith is trying to turn invisible? Simple. Wraith begins to look grainy and sand-like as he turns invisible. This is true even in his attempted fails, as it often does when he's on defense. Wraith keeps the Genesis team loose with his calm manner and joking personality. He's an easygoing man who nonetheless believes strongly in the Genesis cause. Wraith and Vertigo will try to make Genesis Prime a tag team contender, but Wraith is just as much a singles wrestler as a tag wrestler and is eager to go one-on-one -on -one against enemies like Mandrill and Painmaster. There you go. You got the singles title. Hey, I'm sorry. Commissioner who? Uh, Grogan. Grogan, Grogan. However you want to say it. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just not, the it's mighty different. one. Yep. <laughs> I have a lot of mispronunciations. I think, or maybe other people I, do. I don't know. I don't know who's right. We always. I don't think it things. is a mispronunciation because it's made up to you. So it's, it's your. Word. I always pronounced it as Grogan, G R O G A N. So it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna cry now. Kati. <laughs> Kati. Yeah. That's what I was just gonna say because to me it was the mighty Katai. <laughs> oh, everybody oh, has wow. a different one. <laughs> Everyone has a Kati. different one. Well, he won my title, but that's neither here nor there. We're not talking about him tonight. <laughs> nice. Did you say he captured a title for you, Jeff? No, I saw my Kati. Oh, okay. Not Wraith. I haven't gotten to where he's a singles wrestler and in tag. They haven't been able to capture him yet. But this card can be used as both. You just read it. I know. Hand. You know, like I said, I'm going to go back to what I said on Vertigo. I'll read the book and then I'll forget it. I try to play by the book most of the way, but once I have it in my mind that you're a tag wrestler, you're probably going to be a tag yeah. wrestler for that year. And then especially least. in Jess Fed where you get two tag matches per year because he hates tags. That's not true. Most of the tag teams get one a month. And then <laughs> if you're a really good team, you get two a month. I'm sorry. I don't have 18 titles to fight over. And the roster is pretty big at this time, too. So you don't really need a singles guy. That's probably true as well. Yeah. I don't know. I just never thought of him as that yet. Yeah, he was he was one of the guys where I used him as both tag, tag and singles. Because Vertigo was just always old. So he needed, he needed more time <laughs> off. I, I didn't realize oh, Vertigo man. was old until tonight. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to have to start, like, as I'm <laughs> using them in my Fed currently, I'm going to have Vertigo, like, step up next time Max Shield talks about, shush, I'm in charge here. <laughs> I, I, I just want to clarify, he's not old. They just said he's entering middle age. He's not old. Uh, but That's he was old. old. He was older than Wraith <laughs> and Vertigo. He was the oldest. I mean, you got to imagine in the future, they've got technology. That, like, look at the guys now who are in their 40s. They're still right. wrestling <laughs> well, bangers. Now, it mentioned middle age, but it also said pa almost past his prime. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, he's not peak anymore then, for sure. Because <laughs> I think they also said something like he was rest a wrestler on like Omicron. Like yeah, was, that's what it said in the yeah. bio. So he, he has lineage. So. <laughs> Even though Vertigo was a wrestler on Omicron. So he approaches middle age. And I know I saw somewhere in there where it said past his prime. Yeah, past yeah, I mean, his athletic I, prime when it talks about him being a tag specialist. I mean, he's no torn Caitlin. I mean, he's the same, right? He was past his prime by the time he came to GW. Still a monster. Yeah, yeah but Caitlin was great. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, lot smaller roster, though, too, though. True. I think if you pair up that Caitlin 
Torn Tatum card against Vertigo, I think you know who's going to win that match. Vertigo. I don't think that was a roster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was a roster issue. How uh, how would you guys power creep the Wraith? Or... Hmm. The Wraith? The Wraith. I'd make his ropes rating a B. The rest are all A's, and he's got a C now, so i do that. I'd bump up that covered level one with move that CH up there. Just to be different, I'll lower his pin by one. Ooh, a four one. Yeah. I would just drop the agility to zero so that way he's a little more balanced, get more moves through. All of them. All of them solid. Mm-hmm. There you go. Not much more to say about Wraith if you already talked about if you're just talking this card and you did not use them in both singles facet as you did with the tag. So that was Genesis Prime. I uh, was focused. An, an, an average tag team in everybody's promotion except mine. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I the think low average. I think they both work better as singles guys, honestly. Do they, you think? They, oh, good. I, I was gonna say I never really wrestled Vertigo as singles, but I might give him a few, a, a few uh, extra matches here and there to see if he if he can do anything. Yeah. Do you think that Wraith knew that, that we already had sudden death when he named his finisher sudden death? <laughs> well, yeah. There's already been. One yeah, there's death by this point, right? Yeah. It was 2094 and 95. 94, 95. So, so uh, like, why why would his finisher be sudden death as well? It's when he became a fan of the GWF at that yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what did it for him. It's always that entry point, right? That's what sticks with you. And it sounds cool. Sudden <laughs> death. But nobody really dies. No. <laughs> so, we're going to hit our, our Mount Rushmore, mm-hmm. which is. Favorite Star Wars characters. Gosh, I'm so bad. We, at we just had Star Wars Day a week ago. <laughs> nope, that's that's why I got the idea. It's two days ago. Oh, hey, this is Jared. This is something I have to point oh, out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it was a week <laughs> and two days ago. <laughs> We're in the window. <laughs> it's still relevant. <laughs> you guys gonna need to plan it's ahead on these things, not now. after. You're reactionary. Be proactive. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah, got we'll, my uh, list. You got your list. I okay, do. we'll let we'll let Jeff go first since he's I'm a probably the Star least knowledgeable on Star Wars here. I have seen most of the movies. I've seen, you know, the original three, and then I saw one through three when they came out, and I've seen two of the newer ones. <laughs> it's okay. So I, I'm not complete. I'm not a huge Star Wars guy. Um, I did work at Blockbuster during the time period when some of the newer movies came out. So, well, the I said the original three. Um, anyway, my my Mount Rushmore starts with Darth Maul. I just thought he was the coolest character that I'd seen. Um, he's the saving grace from you know the original Phantom Menace. <laughs> you got to balance out Jar Jar somehow. Um, then I'd say Han Solo, obviously got to be up there i, I was going to keep him off originally because i try not to get the the norm but he was just such a great character really carried the plot for me um and then third i, I had to throw in some different ones just because i don't want to be everybody else ezra bridger uh my son's saying it from the side he knew i was going to say that because we used to play disney infinity and uh ezra was the character we used on there all the time <laughs> And then uh, fourth, I'm going to give a shout out to Costco Reeves because of Sasha Ooh. Banks. There you go. Uh, I did <laughs> buy. I, I I'm a big sports card collector, as you guys know. I don't buy a lot of Star Wars cards. When Tops did their uh, artwork for her card, I did buy a five pack of that just to have the Costco Reeves card. And my honorable mention, of course, is going to be Boba Fett. Didn't really say anything, but it was exciting. He was kind of the character and led, led into other things and. So that'd be my list. It's kind of basic. I tried to throw in a couple that were a little different just because I knew you guys would be like, this character from this one scene is the greatest of all time. And I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a good list, Jeff. Don't don't sell your list short. I appreciate it. 
no problem. <laughs> so did uh, did our guest, uh, Mr. Mr. Faction, you want to go next? You know, my my list is going to be very plain because it's the ones that are seminal to me. And I don't think you can ever have a Star Wars list without Darth Vader. It's just, mm -hmm. he is the man. I mean, I just, he was the first real villain that I liked as a kid. I was like, that guy's neat. Like, up to that point, villains are always the bad guys you do. And then, and then that translates, I think, to pro wrestling, where I, when I quickly figured out, oh, villains are more interesting. That yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> is really cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Dark Vader with the number one with the bullet. That's just so easy. Um, that's from childhood. And that's it recently, which kind of, reignited my passion for star wars is probably mando just to see it from the mandalorian perspective and this kind of western style storytelling it was really really fun i really appreciate or really really like that character as this kind of you know jimbo style character um and then i'd say personally professionally ray from the new series just because i was really excited for episode seven because I was lead designer on episode seven playset for Disney Infinity. And so I got to see all that stuff years before it came out. And so I was looking at this character, like, this is a brilliant idea. This, this female character, female lead, strong female. She's going to learn the ways of the force. Like, yes, I was really, really excited for that character and where they were going with that. And then just because I love saying the name and I love how he talked, Bib Fortuna is always <laughs> going to be one of my favorite characters. <laughs> That's awesome. The That's a good movie. list. We duplicated two. I also had uh, Darth Vader and Mandalorian on my list. I think Mandalorian really like revitalized Star Wars. It was kind of just like a lot of people just the, the, the sequel trilogy, a lot of people just didn't like it. it. It polarized a lot of people. I enjoyed it, but a lot of people didn't. And I think whenever the Mandalorian came out, it just like, bam, we're back to Star Wars. And here's a different take on it. So he's he made my list. Um, I'm gonna throw Greedo on there because <laughs> what an introduction just to be wasted, you know. <laughs> he shot first. <laughs> he was like the first alien you meet, speaking a different language and stuff, just kind of this you're know, like, oh, this guy's cool, and then out of nowhere he's gone. <laughs> he's first. Right yep. he was later. <laughs> <laughs> What's it <he> yell? Tungi. <laughs> So I'll put Greedo on there just because he looked cool, and he, he was fun. Like he's just a joke. He's just a, he, he was a meme before memes were a thing. And um, I'm gonna go Yoda as my number four. Now for me, because I was, you know, was and is a huge Star Wars nerd. You know, I've read hundreds of the books, comics, movies, cartoons. I've did them all. So uh, for me. Probably my favorite all-time Star Wars character that would be number one is Wedge Antilles. That's a good one. He's yeah. waiting for Jeff. I'm going to have to uh, assume it's a good one. <laughs> so, you just, so you read all those Squadron books, the Rogue Squadron stuff. Yeah. That's I, I fan fiction. Couple, that That's makes a lot fun. more sense then. Yeah. That's fan fiction, Mike. <laughs> it's not even canon. It's not it a, used not... to be. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> He's the guy who shot down two Death Stars. <laughs> there was how many, how many Death Stars were there? <laughs> and, then, and then I would also have to add uh, Mr. Han Solo. I, I I just liked him. His you know the because I I grew up watching things like Zorro and stuff like that. So he, he, that's who he reminded me of. That just the the, the swashbuckling debonair type guy. Ah. Uh, and then I would have to go Darth Vader, just because, like I said, he's he's one of the coolest bad guys. He's big, he's just a badass. When he walked into a room, you know, he commanded it. And then uh, I was a big fan of the Princess slash General Leia. Um, she was one of the first women leads that you could see her you know when she came in she was just kind of a badass like she she's staring down Tarkin you know she takes the torture you know doesn't want to sell anybody out 
And you just didn't see that back then. Cause you know, back in the seventies, the women were the ones always need rescuing, mm-hmm. you know, and she's the one rescuing Han and Luke in, in the gunfight. She, you know, it blasts her way into, you know, sends them into the, uh, the gar- the trash compactor, but you know, she's still trying to save them. <laughs> and then my last guy would probably be another guy. He didn't have any words in the movies, but in the books, he was a big deal. Uh, Dengar, one of the bounty hunters. He turned out to be the guy in, in the books that was basically Boba Fett's best friend. Ooh. He's the one who saved him from the Sarlacc pit. In, in the books, he he went back for him and got him out. So Johnny they, Cash wrapped in toilet paper for anybody who doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he was my he, he was one of my 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 favorite guys. So he'd be my honorable mention. Thank Those you. bounty hunters are great. That's an honorable mention. That's your fourth, right? That's not an honorable mention. Wedge, right. Darth Vader, Han. Yeah. Oh, um, Leia. Yeah, you're right. I okay. didn't do an honorable mention, and I think I cut you off, Jerry, before you did one. Okay, honorable mention, Salacious Crumb. I mean, yeah. I just love the great name. Yeah. <laughs> the monkey. You, you, you just love those uh, uh, those uh, Jabba lackeys. They had the best names. Or Forlong. <laughs> I always like Forlong. I'm going to go Forlong. Max Rebo. <laughs> Forlong and his partner, Zuckus. I can never tell Forlong. those two apart. <laughs> <laughs> which one's know. which <laughs> when i was little I, I liked the ewoks just because i was little <laughs> but i don't know any other names. To. they made them for you jeff made it work. You. i appreciated it <laughs> they, were, they were nice that's what grogu is now <laughs> <laughs> can i just I say know. i wish grogu would have stayed with the uh the, the jedis and not gone back to to the to well, the jar you can't have another season right it shouldn't be about him anymore. He they told his story. The show's <laughs> called The Mandalorian. It's not called Mandalorian and Grogu. Right? Exactly. <laughs> it, it was just Lone Wolf and Cub. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Some people might get that reference. Jeff won't. I will not. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Well, that's why I dropped the Yo Jimbo reference. Lone Wolf and Cub is apt as well. Yeah. Star Wars is not my wheelhouse when you talk about areas of expertise. <laughs> I used to be a lot more into Star Wars than I am now. My kids are starting to get into it. So I think I'm that's going into a me. Star Wars Trivial Pursuit contest uh, on the 27th of this month of May. Good luck. I have a team. What's the team name? Don't leave us hanging. We we don't we don't have a team name. <laughs> How serious is this? Is this is this like a buy-in thing or is it just bragging rights? No, it's it, it, you get you'll get prizes. Okay, so there's something I'm on. Yeah, I, I went I went to one of them before with my team and I answered 37 out of 40 questions. So I did I did pretty good. See, see right Jared, down. this is what we do. We brag. I won did, you write, <laughs> did you write down the three you didn't know? <laughs> so you could go back and research them later. Did the it, was, it, was, it was what was Adele's first album? <laughs> I still don't it, know it. It was a number, I think. Isn't Wait, it always her age? What? That's not. That's no, no, not it wasn't Star Wars. Wars so, sometimes they're just general knowledge. Oh well, you made it sound like oh. a Star Wars. No. <laughs> I don't know Adele's album. Yeah, neither do I. I can name a handful what... of her songs. I've never listened to her. That's why I got it wrong. There you go. I'll give you that one. I think I they were know... always named after her age at the time they were released. I, I didn't know Adele was a character in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> she is. <laughs> So I'm, I guarantee you, she was probably, she's probably going to appear in a Disney Plus series at some point. I think you're right, uh, Brock. Her original <laughs> album was 19. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. See, look, uh, you should have had me on your team. You sh- you know more about Adele <laughs> than I do. Congratulations. <laughs> but the, the, have, has it, have, has, has, other than myself, has anybody else seen the Star Wars Christmas special? I've, I've seen a very bad it. copy of it. Yeah, it was way, yeah, long time ago. Yeah. yeah, well, you can see it's on YouTube now. I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets creepy when when che, when Chewbacca's grandfather is sitting on the couch with the rest of the family around him, and he's watching softcore porn. Because yeah, that happens. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, how do you know it doesn't? <laughs> Chewbacca's grandpa was a dirty old man. It was. B. Arthur is there with Jefferson Airplane. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good times. Yeah, yep. remember wow. 
They need to redo it with today's celebrities. Yep. <laughs> but let's uh let's wrap this up there, Mr. Mr. Atkinson. All right, Jared, anything you'd like to plug before we go? Uh, I mean, I think the stuff I'm working on, we have marketing departments to handle that. I'm not part of the PR, so I don't want to say anything about it. So there you go. Any Star Wars that's... trivia contest coming up? <laughs> so, no, no <laughs> trivia contest going into. Are, are you currently up? working for Lego or Xbox? Neither. Oh, that neither. No, I, I I work for 2K Games. I work on the WWE 2K game series. Oh, I got one of those over here. <laughs> Good, good for the PS5. That's what I bought when I first bought the PS5. Oh, what year then was that? It would have been last year, I think. So you got 2K23 on? I think so. I, I don't really play a lot of video games anymore, to be quite honest. The kids have taken over the system, so video games have passed thing. me by. <laughs> yeah, they have definitely <laughs> passed me by. I don't have the have the coordination to play anymore. <laughs> I'm fast. I'm not agile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not either. I'm neither. I'm neither. Yeah. I still play my Gears of War five, and I have been for the last seven years, and I'm sticking with it. Hey, yeah. Uh, you know, you might. You know, Summer Game Fest is coming up next month, and uh, I think Gear Six is going to get announced. That's that's what we're hoping. I, I'm we? sitting at level. Uh, how many times have I re up? It's brag again. <laughs> it's a Canadian brag. You got to lose it, like in translation. It's got to <laughs> if it's if if he's a level whatever, you got to drop it down by a third in American. I've I've leveled up almost three thousand times in that game. <laughs> so it's like two thousand American level. Yeah. <laughs> so gears lets you like prestige and start over. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. Every hundred levels, you, you go up. So I'm. Jesus, actually, I'm um, further than that. Um, you, you can you can re up to a maximum of like forty five times, and I'm at like thirty seven times. So like thirty seven thousand, or th yeah, thirty, yeah, so, something like that. I'm I've leveled up thirty seven times. Each time you level up is one hundred levels. So yeah, I've I've, I've gone quite a bit. So let me ask, let me ask you this: since you're still playing the game, I assume playing online with yep. friends and against the phones. Are you seeing people that are 45 and you go, oh, those guys are just, they're putting more time in than me. Oh, no, I, I, I have I have friends who have done that. But it's, okay. I, I have friends that are on disability that I met on there. And uh, that's all they do now is just play play games because they're sitting at home bored. So they've maxed out a bunch of their games. Have you so they're keeping up the, the agility. Of the galaxy? And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's the oldest of all of us. Do, do they tune into Stream Raiders? <laughs> yeah, do they play Stream Raiders? <laughs> Trying to help Brock out here. Thanks. Yeah, marbles. Mar marbles. Marbles on stream. We got a big marbles thing happening oh, on yeah. the channel. Oh, gosh, the mighty marble. You can win this if you win a marble Grand Prix. <laughs> wow. He's from Omicron. So it's fitting with tonight's episode. <laughs> I don't think he really is. He is. It says on the back of his card. Yeah. Oh gosh! Don't you have some people to like plug here? Yeah, I do. <laughs> First, we'll plug ourselves. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. It's right underneath Jared. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. We somehow are losing subscribers, so we need your help. <laughs> it can't be because of the quality of content. <laughs> perfect editing. <laughs> the perfect editing. <laughs> While you're here, scroll on down to the description. You will find all of our friends who make Phil Singer Games related content, including the official Phil Singer Games podcast, Roll Up, the Legends Team Uncharted Uncharted Territory, the Phil Singer Games fan cast from Grant, Dizzy Dice from Lee Lomprey. Here on YouTube, you'll find Grant's solo promoter, Dave Little's Heartland Championship Wrestling. After further review, Brad plays 81 and Bucky 749. If you'd like to be added to our list of links below, please let one of us know and we'd be happy to include you. Get the word out for your content. We do have 154 subscribers. I mean, Ten away from our goal. <laughs> Ten away from our goal. We're a quarter of the way. Oh, well, we're more. We're a third of the way through the year now. Uh oh. This, this is this is getting serious. This is <laughs> okay. I'm, we, we're recenter. Uh, I'm on Twitch Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern, giving away this mighty marble card now for a marble Grand Prix. 
I know everyone's going to think it's rigged. I know I won the first Grand Prix. There's nothing I can do about it. You got to beat me <laughs> to win a card. <laughs> Brag. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a total game of chance. That's the only way I can win. <laughs> so anyway, that's going on on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, yeah, so check that out. Uh, we'll be back next week. And uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great week. Good night, everyone.